Making multiple sounds work together when they sit in the same frequency range can be extremely difficult, but it is solvable with a few EQ tricks to give each sound its own space. So let's look at how to do just this as we remake Halley's Comet by Billie Eilish in one hour. This is our 11th remake from this album, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to see the others as well. And as always, you can download the final Logic Pro project for free down below. Stopwatch, three, two, one, go. Let's find the key and the BPM. Key first. Haley's Comet. Key, B major. BPM, let's click along to the track. Comes around more than I do. BPM, 71, a nice chill vibe. Key and BPM after three minutes, 40 seconds. Not too bad, happy enough with that. Make sure our BPM is 71, super. Great, new software instrument, select retro synth, stereo. Change the mix to full oscillator one and shape one down to white noise. Make sure you turn down the volume because it will blast your ears off. I'm gonna bring down the filter, record in one single note. We can elongate that for the full chorus, but it's not so much the white noise we're after. The sound we want comes from Isotope Vinyl. This is a free plugin that will give us a vinyl crackle sound. Turn up the mechanical sound, and when you press play, you can hear the white noise and the vinyl crackle adding a lovely ambience to the track. That lovely lo-fi hiss. We can mute the vinyl for the minute, or else it'll be going on non-stop. 11 minutes, one second. That took a bit too long, but it sounds pretty good. We always have to find that balance when we're under time pressure. Labs Piano from Spitfire Audio, and Soft Piano is free. So they're all free plugins so far. B major, D sharp 7. G sharp, F sharp, E, B major, F sharp major, E, D sharp 7, G sharp, C sharp, da da, C sharp, E minor, to B. Oh wow, those chords are so good. 51% quantize by pressing Q, as there's a good bit of latency coming through the keyboard. I just turn down the velocity of some of the notes just to make sure they're not hitting too hard. Command S to save, and we'll go option C to give these some colors. Yellow for percussion, light blue for the piano. 23 minutes, 16 seconds. That's one of the hardest parts of the song, so maybe it's not too bad we spent so much time on it. New software instrument, go to bass, Liverpool bass. And as you can see by the picture, it's Beatles influence. We're staying on the free plugins today, and the bass follows the root notes of the chords. B, D sharp. G sharp, F sharp, E, B, F sharp. <laughs> My voice couldn't go low enough. Q to quantize those, 51% as well. Functions, MIDI transform, fix the velocity. Select and operate. So those are steady volume, but if we go shift, backslash, they'll all elongate to the next note. So legato. And what could be a great idea, check where the piano changes chords, and on that same beat, make sure the bass changes on the exact same beat. And that way, it'll have so much more impact. Nice. That's gorgeous. So, so good. Billy and Phineas, I got it again. We actually have Boom, Boom, Ka. He's coming. Dun, dun, dun. Great. And we do the same extra dum dum here. So we have the two extra notes in here and in here. And we have to make sure we hit this note twice here at the end. Da, 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 in love with you. Perfect. And it's nice to have the little gap there before the extra hits in the bass. 28 minutes, 18 seconds. That was pretty fast. Once you have your chords, you'll fly with the bass. Great. New software instrument, drum kit, producer kits. Let's try East Bay. If we open up the producer kit, we can turn down the two snares because the rim hit is really quiet. And our kick and snare sound like kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare. Kick, kick, snare. Q to quantize, 51%. Command A, select all the notes. Functions, MIDI transform, fix note length. Throw some reverb on that, but the reverb isn't including any of the low frequencies. And dipping out a little bit of the high end as well will help just keep that snare away from the front of the mix. Plugins that knock, knock. And this plugin will just give the drums a little bit more beef. Oh, that sounds so good. We're really getting there. And just quickly open up the EQ for the piano. Let's do a small dip in the low frequencies so the bass can take those lower frequencies and the piano can take the higher frequencies. So it's a bit muddy. And then a little bit cleaner now. Option C, color the drums yellow. 35 minutes, 37 seconds. 25 minutes and we have so much to do. I'm not sure we're going to make it. Guitar next. Let's plug it in. In you go. New guitar instrument. Great. Let's go with Amazing Tweed from Clean Guitar. We can add some crunch to it afterwards. Two finger click, stereo pan. From the bottom up to the top, put that guitar 20 to the right. Now, we start off with the band. Oh, that is a cool guitar line. Wow. Let's use our bus reverbs. We're using little plate reverbs and lots of it.
Oh, ho, 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 ho. that is good. Let's press Command D to duplicate that amazing tweet. Plan this guy 45 left, and it has a really important note. <laughs> we do love guitar. I might actually put the reverb, the little plate, on that second guitar, and then I'll mix it in. Yeah, that's the sound. Because it's quite a wet sounding guitar. So let's actually mix the reverb on the track. I usually wouldn't do this, but they sound like they have a lot of reverb. So let's give it a go. Pan them a little bit more. You'll be able to hear that really well in headphones. Those guitar lines are so simple, following the main melody, but they're so beautiful. And the dash of reverb, magnifique. <laughs> I don't know. 44 minutes, 40 seconds. I was having too much fun. They were really struggling for time. New software instrument, great. Let's try the retro synth again. Synth leads, cheerful melody. There's a little synth similar to this that's jumping out just tiny amounts in the mix every now and then in the chorus. So you wait for a while. G sharp B, G sharp. Let's turn the volume way down. Let's put some reverb on the track, just like we did with the guitar, and turn down the mix and the low cut. We're running out of time, but let's just try it out second half one more time. Okay, that's pretty good. And then just the last bit. Bum, bum, bum. I think that's it. I hope Billy and Phineas do a production breakdown of this track because I really want to know what's happening here with this synth. 55 minutes, 16 seconds. Oh, it was so hard to find those notes. Under five minutes to do the most fun thing. Vocals. Hoorah. <laughs> let's get moving. Let's sing in a harmony line and we're going to pan it fully to the left. And let's record it in with my AKG 4 and 4. Plugged into my Apollo into Logic. Nice, and there's no harmony on the last line. 58 minutes, 12 seconds. Out the other side. But you're all it takes for me to break a promise. <laughs> I think we got it. It's so delicate and very high. Good thing <laughs> I've been drinking water all day. In order to make these BVs extra lush and thick, let's make a new bus 31 and a bus 32. For 32, we're going to two finger click, stereo pan up to one point, so it's like mono, and pan it fully to the left. And with 31, we'll do the same thing, we'll pan it to the right. Hold an option, click, drag across the settings from our long reverb. So the vocal on the right is getting reverb to the left, and the vocal on the left is getting reverb out to the right, and it'll thicken everything up. Comes Yeah, sounds good. Nice and gentle. And that's time. Oh. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> this track is so good. Billy and Phineas, they just don't miss. What's up with that? The track is relatively simple, but every sound is so important and so well crafted. It just works beautifully. I'm a big fan of those really reverbed electric guitars and the nice rhythmic bass and a super simple kick and snare really gives it power and movement. And if you'd like to learn more about music creation, why not check out my podcast, The Music Creative Podcast. I'm just after uploading some seriously interesting episodes from advice from a performer who's played over a thousand gigs, an episode that has everything you need to know about arranging your music, and most importantly, an episode that tells you all the steps that goes into making a song. And you can find it anywhere you listen to your podcasts. Lastly, a huge shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. You guys are the real MVP. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right. Will we sing the lead vocal live? Hard to be rude, not to. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. What a tune. If you want to learn how to remake Overheated by Billie Eilish, click right here. Go on, click it. It's my favorite breakdown off the album, so you're sure to learn a lot. Woo.